Hey there, Saki here from Saki Tech, and in this video, I'm going to dive into Bixby and show you everything you need to know that is available so far. It is important to understand that Bixby hasn't released in full just yet. There are supposed to be three major components to Bixby, Bixby Home, Bixby Vision, and Bixby Voice. We have Bixby Home and Bixby Vision on our S8s right now, and I'll demonstrate those in a second. But we do not yet have Bixby Voice, which is actually the most important part of Bixby. What Bixby Voice can do when available is it will allow you to do anything on your smartphone that you can do using touch gestures via voice commands. So you'll be talking to your phone instead of touching your phone. And of course, it will only work with supported apps such as phone dialer, messaging application, the camera app, the gallery app, and other built-in apps. For instance, you'll be able to go into your gallery application, browse its contents using your voice commands, and even manipulate individual images such as deleting or rotating a photo using voice commands. That's the kind of stuff Bixby Voice will do. But for now, in this video, let's take a look at Bixby Home first, and then we will look at Bixby Vision. All right, so let's take a look at the Bixby Home. So this is basically Bixby Home right over here. It's a bunch of cards that get displayed on the side screen. And of course, you can access this by swiping to the right, or you can access it by pressing the Bixby button, which is right over here. So if I press that button, uh, the Bixby cards also come up. So what can you do with the Bixby cards? What you can do is you can tap on the settings over here, and here you have a bunch of options. Uh, one of them is called Hello Bixby Cards. If you tap this, basically you can disable or enable all the cards that you want to see on the Bixby Home screen. Now, as you can see, we have Alarm, we have Briefing, which is Flipboard, it you know feeds you news. We've got Calendar, CNN, and a bunch of other apps right over here including the music application, reminders, the Giphy application, the gallery, and all that good stuff. So when I go back out here, here's the weather widget. Uh, here's the reminders widget. Uh, here's the alarms. Here's the gallery. This is uh, you know being fed from the gallery. If I tap this, it shows me the next photo. If I tap this, it comes back to the most recently taken photo. And then over here, we have the you know, the schedule for tomorrow, that's the Giphy application, it serves you some photos. And of course, all these other cards, such as CNN and the Samsung Music, are served down at the bottom. So again, you can enable or disable these by going into the settings and tapping on Hello Bixby cards and simply choosing what you want to see and choosing what you do not want to see. So let's turn off CNN. And uh, as a matter of fact, you can turn off everything on at once and then you can turn off everything at once. So let's just enable CNN, alarm, calendar, and uh, reminder. And then if I go back out here, it's not going to look as populated. So go back over here, tap on the settings. And this is the other thing. Um, you can actually access Hello Bixby on the lock screen, but this is completely separate from the regular uh, Bixby home screen. So when you go over here, this is what dictates what you see and do not see on the Bixby home screen when your phone is unlocked. So if I press the Bixby button, I get access to the things that are enabled right over there. Uh, settings, right in here. But if I tap this, I can individually enable cards, Bixby cards, that I can only see on the lock screen when I tap the Bixby button when my phone is locked. So just for demonstration, as you can see, the only application I have enabled for the lock screen is the CNN application. Everything else is turned off. So let me uh, lock the phone, and then let me tap the Bixby button, and then as you can see, everything over here is actually hidden, okay? The only thing that I'm seeing is the one I had enabled uh, through the lock screen Bixby options, which was in fact the CNN application. Now let me go back and let me just unlock this phone, go back to Bixby over here, go to settings. So that's just for the lock screen. And then if you tap this one here, you just have to agree to these terms, not a big deal. I, you should agree to them to get the best of Bixby Home. And then at the bottom here, you can tap this, and this gives you a list of all the supported apps for Bixby. And if there's something that you haven't uh, downloaded yet, you can actually download them. So it looks like you can, uh, you can do Facebook, 
you can do Foursquare, you can do Giphy, Linkit, uh, and all these other things, Twitter, Spotify, Uber, Video, and all that good stuff. Let me just download that really quick. Of course, if you tap on it, it's going to take you into the Play Store. From there, you can download the full application, and then you can start using that application on the Bixby Home screen. But that's basically all the Bixby Home is all about. There's really nothing else you can do with the Bixby Home. So now, let's go and look at what Bixby Vision can do for us. But before I do that, I want to show you one more thing on Bixby Home. If I do go over here, uh, you do have some options. With individual, each card over here, you can tap this icon, and you can actually pin a given card to the top. You can hide it for now, or you don't have to show it again, which means it disables that uh, actual card. Then you can go back into the settings, uh, go back to Hello Bixby Cars and re-enable it from here. But uh, let me just demonstrate. So let's say I wanted to see this one on the top, the CNN News on the top. I tap this and I say pin to top and that takes that card all the way to the top and everything else is at the bottom. And then if I didn't want to see this for a while, I can just tap it and I can hide for now. Okay, so it's gone and let's say I don't want the calendar at all. I can simply tap don't show again and it in fact disappears. So even though Bixby isn't fully available, all the three components, the home feature is not too bad. All right, so let's go back out really quick and now talk about the Bixby Vision. All right, so with the Bixby Vision, what you have to do is you have to launch the camera. And once you launch the camera, at the bottom left corner over here, you're going to see a little symbol that looks like an eye. That happens to be the Bixby Vision Eye. And all you do is you tap on it and that activates the Bixby Vision. And Bixby Vision can do a couple things. So as you can see behind the scenes, I have a little microphone just sitting right over there. And once Bixby Vision actually analyzes that object, that image, you can tap on image or you can tap on shopping. If you tap on image, it's gonna try to bring to your attention things that things are similar to what it was observing. So as you can see, the first picture that came is the picture of the exact microphone that I have sitting over there uh, behind the camera. And if I scroll down, I'll see some other stuff as well that kind of look like the microphone, but the microphone is showing up all over the place. So let's go back. That's the images part of Bixby. Uh, you can either do that or you can tap on shopping. If you tap on shopping, it's going to bring up a list of shopping items that it thinks resemble the thing sitting behind the lens. So next up, let's try another product. I'm going to be using the speed stick that I use every day. So let's say I want to actually go and buy one of these. So let's uh, tap on the Bixby Vision and it's going to start to recognize the product. It's going to create a circle around the product. Once it is recognized, I can actually tap on that picture on that square so I can actually identify the product. Now I can tap on text. Let's tap on image. So it's going to bring up images of a bunch of products that it thinks is what it's looking at. Or if I go to shopping, let's see what happens then. Now, as you can see, it gave me a result that is the exact replica of what's sitting on the table. So I can tap any one of these links and then I can go to Amazon.com or whatever website it sends me to and purchase that item. Very good. Now, Bixby Vision can actually extract a text from a book, from a piece of paper or whatever. So let me um, enable Bixby Vision one more time. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to feed it a piece of book, uh, a user manual for a camera, and let's see what it does. So it's uh, enabled right now. And let's put the uh, user manual right behind it. It's reading it right now. Okay, so it's made a selection. So I just have to tap that text button at the bottom. So let me just tap on it really quick. There we go. Now it's going to take the image. I can put the book away. And let's see what options we get. So at the bottom, it's saying extract. So let me tap on extract and see what we get from what it is looking at. So tap that and there you go. So it has in fact extracted the exact same stuff that you can see on the manual. So that is the text extract feature of the Bixby Vision. Absolutely fantastic. And that's just about everything you can and need to know about Bixby right now. Remember, Bixby Voice is coming soon and I think it will be amazing. Not to mention we will get more cards for Bixby Home and more accuracy for Bixby Vision. Bixby Vision can also recognize landscapes. So if you were in Paris and used the Bixby Vision to analyze the 
Eiffel Tower, it would give you relevant information. Anyway guys, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech for more Galaxy S8 coverage and give this video a thumbs up. I'll see you in the next video. Have a fantastic day.